The Gulfstream G700 is getting viral in the world of business aviation, and it's easy to see why. Set to be one of the biggest and fastest in its class, this jet is all about breaking records. But here's the biggest surprise, its range. This jet didn't just hit its targets during testing, it soared past them, earning the title of the business jet with the longest range. Now that's what I call going the distance, so buckle up those seatbelts and let's get this fast story going. The G700's Inception You see, the Gulfstream G700 first hit the radar back in 2019, and it's been full speed ahead since then. Turns out, after a few solid years of testing, the people at Gulfstream found out this jet was even more impressive than they originally thought. Just last March 29th, it clinched its FAA-type certification, which basically means it's all set to fly high. Now, with that official thumbs up, Gulfstream is getting ready to ship out nearly 50 jets that have been waiting in the wings. Let's unpack the journey the G700 took to get here and check out some of the cool design elements that let this jet claim the title of the business jet with the longest range. Apparently it's about doing it in style and going the extra mile, literally. Back in 2019, the Gulfstream G700 made its big debut at the National Business Aviation Association Convention and Exhibition in Las Vegas. I mean, they even showed a clip of the prototype jet strutting its stuff on the tarmac at Gulfstream's Savannah headquarters in Georgia. Now, this jet is essentially a souped-up version of the Gulfstream G500, boasting a projected max range of 7,500 nautical miles, that's 8,603 miles if you're counting in landlubber terms, and it sports a cockpit that keeps the family resemblance with its predecessors, the G500 and G600. Path to Certification Since that flashy intro, the G700 has been busy zipping through rigorous flight tests to get its certification. In 2021, it smashed some speed records flying from Savannah to Doha and then Doha to Paris in record times, 13 hours and 6 minutes for the first leg and just 6 hours and 15 minutes for the second. Let's just say it wasn't hanging around for autographs on those trips. These record-breaking flights were more than just speedy. They put the G700 firmly on the map as a serious contender in the business jet game. As Gulfstream's G700 continued to log hours, tallying up over 4,100 in flight tests, they stumbled upon some sweet upgrades. By late 2023, they dropped some good news. The jet's maximum range had stretched by an extra 250 nautical miles, pushing it up to a cool 7,750 nautical miles, or 8,919 if you prefer the long route. When March rolled around, the jet finally snagged its FAA certification right on time. With about 50 of these jets either ready or almost ready, Gulfstream was all set to start deliveries immediately. Looking ahead to 2024, Gulfstream is gearing up to deliver about 50 G700s, a pretty big slice of the 160 aircraft they plan to hand over that year. Looks like they're set to keep their production lines as busy as their jets are fast. But before we dive into the next section of the G700, how about joining the opulent Oasis community? We've got all the latest and most comprehensive jet videos waiting for you. No pressure though, let's just chill and get into it, shall we? Notable design features. The Gulfstream G700 is basically the G650's bigger, cooler cousin. It rocks the same wings, but steps it up with wider winglets, giving it a bit more swagger in the skies. It measures a lengthy 109 feet and 10 inches, with a wingspan to match at 103 feet, standing at 25 feet 5 inches, making it the high-rise of jets. Inside, the cockpit is decked out with active control side sticks, making handling it as smooth as your favorite playlist. It's outfitted with the Honeywell Primus Epic Flight Deck, which is more than just a fancy name. This setup includes synthetic and enhanced vision systems, giving pilots a crystal clear view, no matter the weather. Flying this thing. Just picture having X-ray vision, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Performance metrics. Now the Gulfstream G700 is powered by two Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines, and each packs a hefty punch with over 18,250 pounds of thrust. Thanks to these powerhouses, 
the jet sails through the skies at speeds that were a bit more than what Gulfstream originally had in mind. Here's the rundown on what this beauty brings to the runway. It can handle a maximum takeoff weight of 107,600 pounds. Think of it as being able to carry a small village's worth of weight and still take to the skies. It's got a maximum payload capacity of 6,385 pounds, perfect for all your luxury travel needs, and a fuel tank that holds 49,400 pounds, which translates to about 509 gallons burned through each hour. Despite that, it cruises smoothly at Mach 0 0.88, or 675 miles per hour, with the ability to push the envelope to Mach 0 0.935, which is about 717.4 miles per hour, when you really need to get somewhere fast. Plus, it can soar up to a ceiling of 51,000 feet, high above any pesky weather systems. Interior Aesthetic Apparently, the Gulfstream G700 stretches things out a bit more than the G650, though it's still a hair shorter than the Bombardier Global 7500. Even so, it holds onto the same 195 cubic feet of baggage space as the G650. As for the cabin, it's pretty spacious. You've got about 57 feet in length and a ceiling height of 6 feet 3 inches with a width of just over 8 feet. It's decked out to include up to five separate living areas, giving everyone plenty of room to stretch their legs. Plus, there are 10 windows on each side, two more than the G650, so there's no shortage of sky-high views. Not only that, but you can pack in up to 19 passengers if you're hosting, or set it up for 10 folks to sleep comfortably. And let's talk materials, because Gulfstream didn't hold back. We're talking plush leathers, exotic wood veneers, and even stone flooring that feels cool underfoot. The cabin also features that solid Gulfstream air filtration system that refreshes the air every two to three minutes, because who doesn't appreciate a breath of fresh air? And to keep everyone happy and online, there's JetConnect's cabaned Wi-Fi throughout. So whether it's for work or play, everyone's connected. It's basically like your own personal high-altitude lounge, complete with all the tech trimmings. Oh, and here's a fun fact on the G700 that might just make your day. You know how sometimes you hop off a long flight feeling like you've been wrestling an alligator? Well, Gulfstream thought about that. They rigged the G700 with a cabin lighting system that's geared to sync with your body's natural clock, potentially tossing jet lag out the window. That means you could land after a marathon flight feeling more spa-refreshed than red-eye ragged. Unexpected Upgrade During its certification, the Gulfstream G700 really went above and beyond. Initially, it was expected to stack up to the Bombardier Global 7500 with a range of 7,500 nautical miles. But as it turns out, after some fine-tuning during flight tests, the G700 stepped up its game to a stellar 7,750 nautical miles. That puts it at the top of the leaderboard for range among purpose-built business jets, excluding those luxury liners turned private jets. And there's more good news on performance. The takeoff and landing distances got a bit of an upgrade too. The new specs clock in at 5,995 feet for takeoff and 3,150 feet for landing, both numbers beating earlier expectations. This means the G700 is more than just those long hauls. It's also pretty handy when it comes to hopping into tighter airports. So what do you think? Could the G700 be the dream jet for your next high-flying adventure? Drop us a comment below with your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the sleekest jets in the sky, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to catch all our latest videos on the world's most impressive aircraft. Safe travels and clear skies.